Hello, and welcome to this January 2016 edition of Behavioral Health Today. Happy New Year. I'm Lakeisha Bennett. We begin with a group of treatment providers and experts who have banded together to help separate the good from the bad in the behavioral health care industry. They're called the Independent Coalition of Treatment Providers. Now, this grassroots movement is picking up steam and gaining extra support. Medivance Billing Service CEO William McCormick tells us about the group's twofold mission. The first mission is to uh, address the abusive behavior that we understand that um, drains needed resources from our, our industry. We want to make sure that we are uh, participating and help eliminate and eradicate any um, you know, bad dealings. Uh, and then the second is to create a collaborative uh, clinical process where we can uh, present you know, proper clinical protocols that get clients true help. Uh, the 90 days, the 15 days, and the 30 days authorizations are not really helping clients. So that part of that collaborative effort is to get with the peers across the country and explain to them the work that is really being done uh, in the treatment facilities. Intervention 911 founder Ken Seeley says they want the public to know that there is a difference between good and bad providers. Um, the general public is going to hear about the unethical practices that some other providers have been doing in the years um, around drug testing, um, paying per bed, um, and working in the field for so many years and seeing you know, so many of my colleagues working so hard to do things ethically, mm -hmm. I said, we need to take a stance and work together um, on educating the public that there are still good people out there doing the right thing. The coalition works closely with the Joint Commission. As Ken explains, the Joint Commission is very supportive of the group. They accredit it, you know, thousands of providers all over the, the country. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so they want people to be doing things ethically. And so they're really, really supportive of our, our efforts. And we're asking our members to get accredited with them to show their transparency. And with cases like Cigna pulling out of Florida because of fraudulent activity, the Independent Coalition of Treatment Providers is also asking the Justice Department to step in and help police matters. We understand that there's a lot of bad practices going on and behavior that is not clean hand dealings. And we've asked the Justice Department to intervene on the front end of this before it becomes a prevailing problem where it destroys our industry. And we're going to assist them with that. We are absolutely committed to ensure that the treatment providers across the country are doing the ethical things and treating clients with respect, honor, and dignity. A group of the coalition recently met at an insurance company convention in Washington, D.C. to speak face-to-face -face with some of the payers. Uh, and we met with several of their um, national clinical representatives uh, to talk about our plan and our two-goal mission. And uh, it went very well, and we look to have even more dialogue at the table with them so we can educate them on the things that we do and vice versa. They can understand, uh, we can understand what their needs and what their specific criteria would be. Uh, the meeting was incredible. Oh, my God. They were so welcoming. Um, you know, I get their frustration where they are so upset for all these years. You know, if you look at the big picture, for close to 30 years, they've been paying. You know, I remember back in the 80s, the late 80s, early 90s, they were paying billions of dollars to, you know, for uh, treatment and, you know, still paying mil billions and billions of dollars every year and getting the same results. You know, they're, they're getting a 2 to 3% success rate for 30 days of inpatient treatment and costing them tens of thousands of dollars. So to be spending all this money and not getting any different results has got to be mind-boggling for them. The coalition has a list of prominent industry leaders in the fight, like John Southworth, a long-standing voice for proper treatment, Dennis Nystrom, who's a former healthcare attorney, and Vanessa Vergnetti with Sagebrush. That's just to name a few. Yeah, we are so fortunate. I mean, if you just look, go to the website and see some of the, na the other names that are also on there, it's incredible to see that, you know, these reputable, you know, um, uh, people that have been working in the industry for many, many years and have that, you know, reputation of doing it right. Working with these geniuses in the industry that want to do things right 
are giving these type of, you know, are, are bringing the, connecting these dots is really what it's all about. When you put an all-star team together and there's one mission to win the game and everyone plays their role and do their part to stay in their lane and understand that we have these two distinctive goals and we work collaboratively uh, by embracing those in the industry, that's what we put together. This is the National Treatment All-Star Team of Providers and we're gonna be dedicated to ensure that our mission get accomplished. If you would like to learn more information about the Independent Coalition of Treatment Providers, or if you would like to join the movement, call 1-800-514-8911, or you can go to their website, icotp.com. Bringing something powerful, productive, and prompt to a city near you. MedAvance is taking its BH Power Breakfast Series all across the country. California treatment providers, we're kicking off the series in your backyard. Join us on Wednesday, February 17th from 8 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. at the Hilton Orange County Costa Mesa Hotel. Attendees will learn about the business of behavioral health from census to reimbursement, featuring a panel of experts in the field. Hippotrek CEO Sarah Bottoman, Redwood Recovery Solutions CEO Jason Bryan, Swell Life Consulting CEO Jennifer Musselman, and Medivance Billing Service CEO William McCormick. Come and learn best business practices, make great connections, obtain useful knowledge you can incorporate into your practice, and of course, get a great breakfast. To register for this event, just go to medivancebilling.com forward slash bhpower. The series will also travel to Dallas, Texas, Atlanta, Georgia, Chicago, Illinois, and Boston, Massachusetts. Stay tuned for more details on those upcoming cities. And finally, being HIPAA compliant is not just for larger treatment providers. This factor and much more will be detailed in the upcoming MedAvance webinar series, Trust Me, You Need a Compliance Program. Hippotrek founder and CEO Sarah Bottoman will present this webinar to give providers insight on why compliance is needed and how hackers are becoming an emerging threat. In the webinar, we're going to go over ways that um, really sophisticated hackers have been able to go in and get healthcare information and why they why the hackers are targeting the healthcare industry in like, particular. Mm -hmm. um, they're also going to get some really good insight onto how to conduct a risk analysis and manage all of their risks through a risk management program. The Trust Me, You Need a Compliance Program webinar takes place on Thursday, February 11th at 1 p.m. Eastern. If you would like to register, just go to metavansbilling.com forward slash webinar. That's all for this edition of Behavioral Health Today. We hope you've been enlightened and we thank you for watching. Again, have a happy new year. I'm Lakeisha Bennett.